Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about these EJS files. Now as you can see, as we already talked about a little bit, this is pretty much the HTML, in other words the view for your web page. Now if you're scanning this real quick and you're saying alright I know HTML yada yada, headings, paragraph, wait a minute, what the heck is this crap right here that I don't really recognize that. Um, care to explain Bucky? Well this is the EJS by the way EJS stands for embedded JavaScript so again these files are pretty much HTML that you can stick JavaScript into that's all they are nothing really um you know too fancy about it so as you guys can see the syntax whenever you want to throw JavaScript in here is this there's actually two different variations of it and I'll explain the difference right now so whenever you want to use a variable for example this title as we can see this title is equal to express so that's why whenever we display the title such as in this heading and on the title actually it says express so um that's what that does and anytime you want to use a variable you use less than percent equal sign write your variable name which is title in this case percent greater than now whenever you just want to use plain old JavaScript and by that I mean anything other than a variable such as loops switches if statements basic JavaScript you don't add that equal sign so again the equal sign is for variables no equal sign whenever you're just writing plain JavaScript now the next little um, confusing thing that probably pops up is this alright so clearly we have a variable called title and it's equal to express explains why it's displaying right there but uh... where is that happening because shouldn't there be like javascript up here with some like variable variables being declared and set equal to some values uh... i don't see any javascript so what's happening is this remember whenever the user makes a request for this home page what it does is it looks at this file right here index.js so what this file says is for this view whenever the user tries to get the home page what's happening is I want to use index as my view and this behind the scenes tax on the EJS since we already set up our project to use the EJS views instead of Jade it already knows to add that file extension so you don't need to type it manually so it says whenever they request the home page use index.ejs and you can also pass additional information in this case it passed one additional variable and that variable was equal to express so now anytime we display title which is a javascript variable it displayed express and just to show you guys one other quick example um, actually let me clear out everything in this body right here and let me clear in out this title alright actually in the title I'll just type the new Boston static text and say that we want to pass in my name as Bucky so now what we can do is in our EJS file anytime we use the variable name it will display Bucky and in the body I'll just make like a real simple paragraph and remember that's less than percent equals since we're using a variable and the variable is called name so now let me run this again and check it out Bucky and just to show you guys a real quick example of the other syntax you can use with just regular JavaScript let me space this up a little bit prettier say that you're making something like an unordered list now inside here what you need is a for loop or you don't need one but that's what we're gonna do in this example we're gonna make a for loop and print something out five times Now, of course that for loop is not a variable it's just regular JavaScript so you need to throw that in between these two little weird looking symbols right there now what I'm going to do is this I'm going to write 4 and then for my conditions var i equals 0 I'll just say uh, what I say i is less than 5 and i plus plus alright 
So now I'm going to put my opening bracket right here in my closing bracket right there and any code in between here is going to get looped out five times. So let me just put some list item and I'll just write the word tuna, whatever. Now let me run that and check it out. Tuna, 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 chameleon. Alright. It's late. It's like 6 a.m. And I have to go to my mom's because it's Easter tomorrow. So I was like, maybe I'll try to sleep tonight. But then I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just stay awake because if I go to sleep, I'm not going to feel like waking up. So. so anyways, that's how you do that. Again, EJS files, really simple. They're just HTML that you can throw JavaScript into. Whenever you want to display variables, use the equal sign. Whenever you want to write plain JavaScript, don't use the equal sign. Simple as that. See you next time.